Hi, and welcome to another session with Cody. I'm coming from Tulsa, Oklahoma. In this session, I will show you a recent project I did creating an Ajax contact form. As you can see, the finished project, if I had submit with blank fields, I get the error messages. If I input a that's clear. If I input a uh, an invalid email, I get the appropriate error message and the same with the phone number. Invalid phone number. So to begin showing you how I created this project, let's look at the main HTML file. I include, of course, jQuery first. Then I include the JavaScript file for the page. And I'll also in include the uh, jQuery plugin to use forms, which basically turns a regular HTML form into an Ajax form. And I also include the style sheet for this page to be able to uh, make make everything visually appealing. I don't know if ac people actually want the code so I haven't in I haven't made a link to it uh, where you can download it obviously you can request it in the comments just say that you would like you would like the code and I, I will be happy to make a link and send it to you so that you could uh, actually have access to the code so this is your HTML file here is the Ajax file that does all the magic with the the processing in the PHP side. When the form gets submitted using this action, ajax.php, it gets sent here. And for added security and just to help, I include uh, an action so that you can specify the action. Uh, whereas if it's contact, that's when you actually start the processing and I include uh, also error checking in this side of things because uh, obviously we know that JavaScript can be tricked or bypassed so we want to check also not only in JavaScript but also in PHP and so if, if uh, any of these fields are blank or if it's not a valid phone number etc uh, then it has an error. And if not an error so far, then we include the PHP mailer. And that allows us to send an email to somebody. And then we, we create our basic body where you have your name, phone number, email submitted in the form. And then we create the PHP mailer and we configure it how we need it to be configured so in the beginning we now we go to the host and you'll see the config and the config is actually a separate file so we include this file and I uh, I blank these out uh, for sort of like to create a template you want your uh, SMTP information in this file. Then that will translate over here where you can specify your, your host. You can specify where the email is coming from, subject body, and so on. And then you try sending. But if it's unable to send, then it still has an error. Then finally, you return your JSON encoded string to uh, back to JavaScript. Here's the JavaScript file. Here is your main part of the the program because Ajax form is the plugin in jQuery 
that allows you to convert a regular HTML page into an Ajax form. And I'm, I want to specify the data type of being JSON uh, for security purposes mostly. Now I come in through here and I check that uh, the form is validated. So in, in JavaScript, I want to specify that the form is validated. I do it in PHP, but I also do it in JavaScript so that I can immediately give somebody the answers legitimately. But if somebody is trying to hack the website, for example, then I also want to check the errors in PHP. So here you, you see that we check for blank values in the form so that uh, we can make them required. And for the phone number and for the email, I also check for valid email and valid phone number. So I have two functions here, one for valid email, one for valid phone. They're both basically the same. Uh, so you can see that I use Ajax because I don't want to create a validation in both JavaScript and PHP. We have one validation and that's a PHP. So we actually use Ajax to check. And we use the action valid e, uh, validate email to check in here. So if we go to ajax.php and we check the action. If it's validate email, then we check for the validation. By the way, valid underscore email, that function is in functions.php. We have valid phone and valid email and they each do the validation respectively then they return the value if it, it was a valid email it returns success it's not it returns error so then if the return is success then it's validated and that that returns a valid email so these are the basic errors that you might receive. So in this Ajax form, basically when the form is submitted, then it get it goes into this function. We clear all the errors first of all to start fresh. Then uh, we say if uh, there are more than one error, I mean if there are errors, then we run through this check and we add the error messages to their respective fields. So you can see if I hit submit and all errors are shown because nothing has been inputted. But I can input my name, hit submit, and boom, it goes away. If I input a, an invalid number, you'll see that the text changes. But now if I input a valid phone number, I actually don't know if that's valid, let's check, no. And then we, so it's 10 digits and you can see it's valid. Uh, same thing with the, the email. Now this only checks for formats it doesn't check whether or not somebody is actually at that address. So let's do that. And you can see that that error went away. If I do that, then it's an invalid email format. Same with subject and message. And if all of that passes and, and then it goes to if the form actually passes, but for some reason the server could not send an email out. That's where this comes in here.
we haven't looked at the CSS yet so let's gander over this is your CSS basically everything here is needed and required I specifically designed the CSS for this particular page like I said if you actually want all of this code like I put it on to, onto one particular marketplace for sale but if you actually want it just leave a comment and let me know and I'll upload it to make a link um, in any case it's all working and it's there for you to configure uh, if obviously if you have PHP knowledge uh, then you'll understand it and uh, you can modify it as you see fit uh, I specified error reporting uh, especially so that in the Ajax file there is no there, there are no errors because this format is all supposed to uh, output JSON encoding so that when you're in, in JavaScript it, the data type is JSON leave a comment uh, if for one if you want the code or also just to let me know sort of how you feel about it uh, leave a thumbs up if you thought you liked it or a dislike thumbs down if it wasn't helpful uh, to you I'm Cody coming from Tulsa Oklahoma See you later.